Caddis Maximus here, this time with a uh, little review of the Vevor, in this case, 12 inch, 550 watt, explosion proof or hazardous environment rated fan. Ventilation fan, it's advertised as being portable. This thing, the reason it is a promotional product, they did send this to me for free, but no payment or anything other than that. And the, even the reason I took it was, uh, <laughs> I get a lot of emails from various vendors. Decided to look at Vevor's site, and they were kind of like a Banggood style site, but m with a lot of business, more business oriented products. They just have all this different crazy stuff. And I saw these fans. They have 10, at least on the website, these listed 10, 12, and 16 inch versions. Although this did come with the worksheet, it turns out that this is just a rebranded uh, Nemco fan. It was packaged pretty well. We can even, this is all really bulky. Triple wall box, styrofoam on the bottom to hold it up, and then another layer on top. So I was actually pretty surprised. They at least packaged it in an attempt for it to not get destroyed because this thing uh, probably around 40 pounds, 45 pounds for this 12 inch one. 77 cubic meters a minute or 2,700 cubic feet a minute of airflow. Now this company, Nemco, they just, you know, once again rebrand this as Vever, actually has some huge units. We can see right here that they have all the way up to 32 inch versions, 480 volt, 3 kilowatt fans so they make some pretty big fans the 32 inch 3 kilowatt fan is a no mess around fan even this is no mess around and so what really prompted me to get this one is because you know if you're doing there's a situation sanding drywall doing painting activities anything that, like that where you just want to move a lot of air there's a lot of fans but they just don't move a ton of air so that was really the impetus to getting this here's the reason I ended up getting this Harbor Freight one and one of the most common questions about this Harbor Freight is, can I use this in a paint booth? Can I use this when I'm doing, using solvents and that type of stuff? And the answer is really no, because this motor is not sealed. What makes this explosion proof, although I will note this is not UL rated, and this in the United States, this may not actually meet many uh, codes just because it hasn't had uh, full rigorous testing. But they even say on the label here, explosion proof. Actually, if I zoom in some, if I zoom in a bunch, super shiny label. Let's see if we can't get that to focus. There you go. They're even rating it explosion proof. Come on now, camera. You can focus. There we go. Super shiny. This is the BTF 30 version. 550 watts. 500 watts at 50 hertz, but this is the 60 hertz. 450 pascals of ambient pre or of pressure. What makes this explosion proof really is one, this heavy duty sealed switch. Although they, they're using a gland end here that they just have the wire stuck into. When it's, the switch and glands are designed for a permanent installation using armored cable, kind of like on this side. But instead they just put in a wire, which they don't give you a plug. And it's kind of interesting. I think part of that is because they sell this everywhere and they just don't want to deal with all the various plugs around the world. So they just make sure that they have the 110 volt or 220 volt. And then it's up to you to put on whatever plug you want. And I assume a lot of people who are buying these because this thing's like 175 bucks. These things from, uh, from known manufacturers are a thousand or $1,500 for this size and, and airflow equivalent. These types of fans are super expensive. So for somebody who wants to do like at-home paint, uh, at-home paint booth or working with solvents or anything that might be flammable, you're, you're saving hundreds of dollars. You're saving so much money that you deal with the idiosyncrasies of it being uh, an important Chinese industrial fan. I mean, it's really what you're getting is you're getting the heavy duty uh, switch. I'll admit the paint job is not the greatest. Pretty light right here. Don't like the plastic grills, but that's okay. But what you are doing is getting the heavy duty switch. Super heavy duty case. This is actually a pretty thick wall case. 
fully sealed motor. This is a totally enclosed motor, cast housing with the fins. This isn't a self-cooled motor because it's a fan. So I guess technically it is a self-cooled motor, but the motor doesn't have a fan on the back. It also means that the capacitor is integrated inside the back of the motor and it isn't exposed. And so that's kind of the deal, it prevents any kind of like static discharges. It's actually a concern. Also being a idiosyncratic product, one of the things is when it stands up, it's straight. We can see that the feet are square with the seam, which I actually really liked. And then I'm wondering, as you can see here, what's going on with the handle? The handle and the motor are actually off kilter. It's like they drilled these holes kind of offset and then the handle, when it was welded, was offset. Doesn't make a lot of sense and why the handle's kind of off to the side. Other than that, it's not a big deal. Because once again, for 175 bucks, you're not getting anything close to what this fan is. Anyway, let me put in a plug and uh, give it a little run. It does have a cast fan or cast blades. Jeez, try not to slam it down. At least it's reasonably well centered. This housing is reasonably round, so that's actually pretty decent. Seven blades. And this is cast aluminum. And oddly enough, it came with spare feet with full hardware, washers, acorn nuts, and bolts. Usually it's not the feet that give out on this. I guess maybe they thought it did, or maybe they got some complaints, so they started including that. I would have rather had them simply say, oh, it's going to a customer in North America. Let's ship, and we're getting 110 volts, so we'll ship it with you know, a standard plug. But I guess they're assuming that there's going to be a variety of plugs that you're going to put on it. So instead, they give you spare feet, which, you know, is neither here nor there. Anyway, I'm going to get this wired up so we can give it a run. They're advertising 69 decibels. Probably going to be a little louder than that. Anyway, let me get this wired up. A quick thing, I am going to critique their instructions. I mean, they are, even though Vivor only offers the yellow ones, this company... Nemco offers them any color that you want. Uh, what's kind of interesting is how they advertise it here. Uh, underground cable maintenance, firefighting, pipe construction, oil machinery, chemical machinery, other hazardous situations. So they're really trying to advertise it as being totally non-sparking with no static or any kind of exposure. Uh, don't <laughs> install in areas with heavy water leakage. Um, they could use a spell check. I mean, it's not hard. When they're doing translations, they can run it through a spell checker. So some of these typos are just terrible. And it's absolutely prohibited to stick a finger or your thin, or thin bar into the fan. All right, I finally got this wired up and plugged in. Let's give it a run here. It is definitely pretty loud. And I should mention, well, I'll mention after I run it. I think the blades could, uh, it's pretty well balanced, but there's still a little bit of vibration. They could do a better job running the blades. I should mention that the photos show a wire mesh grill, and I think they actually went to the plastic just because the wire mesh was actually getting dented and beat up so much. So that's another difference. I do like the fact that this switch can go either way, so... makes it easier to deal with and what I'll do is I'll open up the back so I can show you how they do the balancing and so we can get a little closer look at the motor there oh and before I forget the reason I also took this from Vivor is when I was saw their email saw this that I might want to get saw that it was actually 170 bucks free free shipping in stock this is a, the same fan just by a different uh, brander it is $210 off of Amazon so it's actually 40 bucks cheaper for the same thing off this site I do like saving people money all right let's get a little bit of uh, 
zoom going on in here. I don't know if you can see. You can see the shininess on the fan or on the corners of the blades right there. That's where they ground the blades, trying to balance them. So they at least did try to balance. I mean, it's a cast aluminum uh, fan, so it's not going to be perfect. They're going to have to do balancing. They could just do a little bit better job. We can also see here. Zoom in even more. The stats on the motor, 6.2 amps at 60 hertz, 3300 RPM. So they're having uh, some places they're listing 3450, which I, and then this uh, says 3300. I'm suspecting without a fan, this is probably a 3450 RPM motor and then loaded with the fan. It's gonna be 3300, but it's at least nice to see that. It actually looks like a decent motor. These fasteners here that are holding it together, you can just see those are actually grade 8.8, .8, so at least those are halfway decent fasteners too. And lots of fins all the way through from the front case all the way through the back, so that's also nice to see. Although I will mention that they set the motor on the back and they they must have done, I don't think they did this on a work table, they must have done this on concrete, but there's actually quite a bit of dings and stuff from when the motor was set on its back when they were mounting the fan and getting stuff assembled. So that's really all there is to say about this uh, Vevo fan. At least they're selling it for quite a bit. The same units on Amazon and on the internet, they're actually selling it for quite a bit cheaper. And as far as fans of this nature and this caliber, $170 shipped for a 12 inch 2700 CFM uh, explosion proof fan with an actual decent motor in it. It's actually not a bad deal at all. It's actually a pretty good deal. So anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.